If you have fibroids or potentially have fibroids, this video can make the difference between you having a baby very soon or it taking so long that you run out of time. I'm Tasha Blasi, fertility consultant and patient advocate. I gather data from hundreds of my clients in 12 countries to create best practices for you to get and stay pregnant quickly. Today's video is all about fibroids. So how do you know if you even have them? Well, physically, it's very painful. You're gonna have really heavy periods. You're gonna have really painful periods. It's very similar to endometriosis. You can get diagnostic tests as well. Hysteroscopy, uh, MRI, saline ultrasound should be able to find in them if they're, if they're big and pretty major. Those are typically the ways to know if you have fibroids. Something else that I've discovered in my data is that my African-American clients are more prone to fibroids. So keep that in mind as well. So if you have them, what do you do with them? This is the major discussion between doctors, right? Do you do the surgery? Do you leave them alone? It depends, okay? but. Here's the thing, there are things, first of all, that you can do to naturally help your fibroids, and that's absolutely what I want you to start with, no matter what, okay? The holistic health practices, the things that I talk about all the time that most naturally balance your hormones, you have to get those into place immediately. Those are the things that you can control. Now, do you have, and, and then with the doctor, let's go there, um, there are medications that make your fibroids very happy, and there are medications that make your fibroids very, very angry, okay? What do I mean by anger? I mean inflammation, and it makes it almost impossible for an embryo to implant, right? So keep that in mind. Now, the big question is, do I do surgery or not? I talk about this with my clients all the time. Of course, it depends, but let me give you a tip where if I can't tell you how many of my clients do not know this and they go into a surgery and some of them are at the brink of never being able to get pregnant because of this, okay? If you are doing fertility treatments, it is very important, if possible, to wait to get the surgery until you've had all of your egg retrievals done and all the embryos are made especially if you have a low egg reserve and low AMH because you can potentially cut off the blood supply to your ovaries and it makes it very, very hard to make eggs and then your AMH tanks. With fibroid surgery in general, AMH tends to tank. Okay, so if you already have a low egg reserve and low AMH, we gotta be so careful and protective, right? Of your egg, egg count and AMH. So get the surgery done after all the egg retrievals are done before the transfer, if, if you're supposed to get the surgery done. Okay, now I've had clients come to me, you know, new clients, I, I, can, I can think of so many in my head right now, uh, bawling. My AMA, I had fibroid surgery, my AMH is a point nothing, right? What, how, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Here's the thing. One, you can recover. Okay. Just because your AMH tanks from a fibroid surgery doesn't mean that it is always going to be that way. You can do holistic health practices to recover. So please make sure you do those and give it three to six months. Okay, that's why if you have a low AMH and egg reserve already and you go into the fibroid surgery, right? Nobody that, that has those delicate numbers wants to wait three to six months. You, you have to for a full recovery. Do not go into fertility treatments when your AMH has been tanked because of fibroid surgery. Do the steps, restore your hormones, heal your body, fully recover and slowly watch that AMH and resting follicle count increase, okay? So ideally, you wait to get fibroid surgery until you've done all your egg retrievals. But if you're trying naturally or that's just not possible, 
Keep in mind, your AMH is gonna tank, that's gonna be very scary, and you can do things to dramatically increase it after. So my client that I was talking with you about, right, comes to me, falling, has basically no AMH, very young age. I tell her what to do to recover from her fibroid surgery, and she got pregnant naturally. Amazing, right? I know, if you're in your fertility journey like I was, I hate those stories. I hate when people get pregnant naturally, but it happens. <laughs> so please, Keep in mind uh, everything that we've talked about with fibroids, identifying if you have them, not doing the surgery until you, it, unless you absolutely have to, until you can, especially if you can wait until all your egg retrievals are done, but keep in mind that it will tank your AMH and egg quality and you can do things to prevent it. All right, any other questions, just find me. Love you.